hello good people and thank you so much for checking out my channel i'm your girl kina it is so hot out here already <sighs> have to run some early morning errands forgot my earrings anyway so this is a quick recap of um the real housewives the ultimate girls trip this is season season two um episode three and the title is days and excuse all right so each day dorinda has an agenda that she gives to the girls and a, a tenderary not a tenderary not agenda and so for day three they start out with their breakfast they later will go shopping of course they have their lunch and then they have like a field day a lasagna bake-off between dorinda and um brandy <laughs> a pajama party and of course more games that they play right all right, so they get up and they have, they're they having their breakfast and Eva is so excited that they're going shopping um, because this gives her a chance to go to the weed, the weed dispensary, dispensary, and, uh, dispensary and she's ready to get lit. She's ready to get her smoke on. So um, after they all get dressed, they go in town, they go shopping and the first stop is the crystal shop. So there's, they're looking at different crystals and um, <laughs> they're even saying maybe there's a crystal that could help Taylor grow her butt. And then he was like, maybe her butt can grow too from the crystal. And then Phaedra tells about her experience with a crystal. It was, it's just, they are just doing too much on this show and it's really entertaining. All right, so um, while the ladies are shopping, Dorena decides to step out to go to the local store and Tamara goes with her and so Tamara she um, tells Dorena that she's being like kind of one-sided when it comes to everyone else in um, Brandy and that Dorena's been defending Brandy a lot even with Brandy's bad behavior you know Brandy's been going crazy calling people bitches and telling people to shut the fuck up <laughs> she's just she is out of pocket just crazy because Brandy's been getting tore up ever since she got to the house. Like, she's been really lit drinking the alcohol. And so, um, Dorinda's like, no, she just feels that Vicky is after Brandy. And she's just trying to give Brandy a hard time. And, you know, that um, Vicky is stronger than Brandy. And she should be able, I guess, just to overlook some mosquito in here. To overlook some of the things that um, Brandy is doing, and you know that Brandy is pretty much a weak link, a weakling, according to Dorinda. And um, so, of course, Vicky walks in, and they, you know, they go back and forth about the whole thing. And Vicky's like, she's not trying to be after um, Brandy, but Brandy's definitely not going to be talking to her like that. The way that she's been talking to people, calling them bees and bitches and telling them to shut the F up. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. I got my window down. I'm going to have to get out of here. Oh my goodness, there. I'm sitting outside of this place that I'm about to go in and I had the windows down and the mosquitoes are everywhere. Anyway, the, my windows are back up now. <laughs> no, not to do that again. All right, so um, Eva gets her re weed from the weed store. She's excited about it. And then back at the house, um, it's where Dorinda and Brandy, they had already prepped and started on their lasagna because they're having a bake-off on who can make the best lasagna. And so they have that going on as far as um, with their lasagna and of course Dorena she has her house staff that she's pretty much having to look after her lasagna and um, Brandy is thinking that she has a disadvantage because of that <laughs> and she also thinks that um, Dorena has taken some of her ingredients because she's having a hard time like finding tomatoes and things like that so um, Brandy is under the impression that Dorena is trying to sabotage her lasagna all right so they're sitting down at the table for lunch and um vicky is sitting there and vicky she's been sick ever since she got there sniffling coughing and everything just looking miserable um 
on top of her attitude about being out there like in the country you know she wanted to go somewhere where she can really party i guess go to like maybe turkey turks and caicos like the other ladies did on season one of the real housewives ultimate girls trip so while they're sitting at the table jill comes over and she tells vicky that she does not look good that she looks terrible and she's talking about you know her being sick and everything and she was like you know she explains that to her like i'm just saying you look you look really bad so then we see the medics come in well dorinda's thinking that jill is babying um vicky and that she shouldn't feed into vicky um being a debbie downer but it's like okay dorinda the lady is really sick yes yes it's true she's being a debbie downer but she's also sick but dorinda's not trying to hear any of that and she's not trying to feed into any of that and she's telling jill that she shouldn't feed into it either so anyway um the medics i guess the Bra bravo have a medical team that travels with the ladies so there's a medic that comes on and we can see all of this and she um i guess she takes vicky's temperature and everything and they decide to take vicky to the urgent care and so vicky leaves for a little while and while vicky's gone the ladies participate in um like a field day they have like a um obstacle course outside and it looks like it's so much fun where they have to go through um different obstacles busting balloons to get like taglines from the different um housewives shows and um also digging through boxes for diamonds and um squeezing juice uh, i guess it's it's something for like something out of each housewives franchise so it's pretty cute cute so they're racing around trying to um be the winner for that and it's so funny just to see them be competitive against each other. Everyone's thinking that Tamara's going to be the winner because Tamara is the most fit. However, it turns out that little Eva is the winner. So Eva is the person that, that wins the um, obstacle course. And that was really fun to watch. And so the ladies, this also gave Brandy and Tamara a chance to really bond and to get to know each other. So, um brandy's like you know what tamra she's really a cool person when she's not around vicky because remember vicky had went to the urgent care and so with that um tamra was like yeah you know i hear that all the time i get this all the time so that means that vicky's been bringing me down <laughs> she's pretty much saying this in her confessionals but that's what she also admits that vicky needs to step up her game because vicky's been bringing her down with her debbie downer attitude okay so um vicky finally returns back to the house and um she shares with the lady that she did in fact have a sinus infection so she doesn't have um, the C word you know so she's all good with that it's just that she has a sinus infection and so they gave her a shot and also gave her meds and then Br um, Brandy and Vicky they have a moment you know Brandy's always apologetic about when she curses people out or whatever and so Vicky tells her again okay okay you're just not gonna talk to me that way and you have to promise you me you're not gonna talk to me that way but of course that's not something that Brandy can promise so she'll say she pretty much said she'll try to do her best you know but I'm not gonna get she's not gonna guarantee that it's not it, it ain't gonna happen again as far as her saying something out the way <laughs> because brandy is just all over the place and so um the lasagna is finished for the ladies it's brandy and dorinda with the lasagna bake-off and dorinda's lasagna looks really good and the ladies they try out both brandy's lasagna it looks so soupy 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 and then from all the different ingredients that brandy says she put in that lasagna it was like what the heck <laughs> what what i can't even remember some of the stuff she put in there but of course serena had to take little digs at her about it so um they go around asking the ladies about who had the best lasagna and overall dorinda won however according to jill neither dorinda or brandy's um lasagna were good and that she could have made a better lasagna and they should have asked her because she's the cook and so the only person that really liked um brandy's lasagna i think it was phaedra she said she liked for her food to be soupy 
to be soupy. It looked a hot behind mess. And oh, also, while um, Dorinda is the person serving her lasagna to the ladies, and it's known now while you're watching the show that when they're at the table, um, Dorinda loves to serve people their food, but she loves to stick her fingers in the food and she loves to lick her freaking fingers. And it's just so much drama around that. And it's like, who want anyone licking their fingers serving them food? It's disgusting, it's nasty. So those fingers, oh my goodness, Dorinda, Dorinda please calm down with that. All right, so later on, the ladies, they change into their pajamas and they decide to play games. And <laughs> this is when everything's been going good, but it finally goes south. Um, they get to the point where they ask, it was, I forgot the name of the game, but whatever the game they're playing, they ask um, Jill to say something bad about her father. And she's sitting there thinking, and Brandy's on the end of the couch, and she's like, remember, you're on national TV. Be careful. Be careful. And Dorinda's just like, don't even say that. Just be quiet. Let her go with it. And Dorinda explodes and gets really upset. Like, it doesn't take much for Dorinda just to go crazy. And so she's like, why did you even have to say that? Just let it be. And, and I don't know. She goes to the screen when she gets upset. So that really put a damper on things. And later on, Eva's on the phone talking to her husband, checking up on the husband and the kids because her husband is back home taking care of the kids and also working, doing his daily stuff, you know? And so Brandy's also there and she's like speaking to the husband and she even, but Brandy says that Eva's husband, she thought, evil husband was a mangina but now she's saying he's not a mangina she was like what what do you mean or whatever and so that really took eva you know that struck eva the wrong way although eva didn't get carried away and i'm glad i'm happy about the way she carries herself she's very calm and collect um about things but at the same time she let brandy know that that's not something that she could say about her husband and she need brandy to explain herself so i guess we'll go into episode four with brandy explaining herself and i yeah it was something about a man taking care of kids she see that as a mangina but he was like no a mangina would be when a man is not stepping up taking care of his kids and also handling things and so she was like okay she pretty much said she can get a pass this time but she letting her know that things like this is not going to go on like brandy loves to run her mouth about different things but one thing she's definitely not going to do is run her mouth about anything regarding eva's husband and family so overall great episode i'm looking forward to watching um episode four and i think they even had another episode to come out this week so real housewives the ultimate girls trip this is season two it's a really good show guys it is on peacock it's not on bravo at the moment but i'm quite sure it's going to end up on bravo um peacock have free trials out there if you do not already have it and it's also only $4.99 and I hate to say only $4.99 with the cost of gas and everything now but I would say it's worth the $4.99 and it's even much better if you can get the free trial all right thank you guys so much for checking out my channel I hope you continue to have a great day bye